I think we all need the wisdom that comes from God. Amen. Praise God, people of God. Let's get into God's word. Let's pray right after this. Amen. I'm going to try to keep short tonight. We've been going too long. <laughs> and uh, I just want to stay under that half an hour. So let's get into God's word and let us pray. In James 1, 5, the Bible says this. If anyone of you lacks wisdom, you should ask God. The first key to receive wisdom as asking the Lord. Amen. And we are not talking about the wisdom of this world. We're talking about the wisdom that comes from God. The first thing, it's so simple, isn't it? It's simple. You lack wisdom, ask God. And the Bible says, who gives generously. Isn't that beautiful? He gives generously. To all without finding fault, without finding fault, and it will be given to you. Amen. If anyone lacks wisdom, you should ask God. Instead of asking people, ask God. Amen. And he'll give you generously the wisdom that comes from him. The wisdom that comes from the Lord. Amen. In Proverbs chapter 3, verse 13, the Bible says, Blessed are those who find wisdom. If you find this wisdom, the wisdom from God, you are blessed. Those who gain understanding, for she is more profitable than silver and yields better returns than gold. She is more precious than rubies. Nothing you desire can compare with her. Long life is in, right, in her right hand. In her left hand are riches and honor. Her ways are pleasant ways. And, and all her paths are peace. She is a tree of life to those who take hold of her. Those who hold her fast will be blessed. Amen. That is the wisdom that comes from God. How many of you need wisdom and decision-making? How many of you need wisdom? How to raise your children? I'll tell you, <laughs> my daughter, she is going to turn five now in May. And I'm praying to God, God, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom to raise my daughter in the right way. Give me wisdom. You know, how many of you that you know you grew up in a place and you you grew up with luck you never had enough and then you know god bless you get your life gets better and then you just want to give everything to your children because you never had anything so you want to bless them how many of you know that is not the right way to raise a child <laughs> and and can i tell you, that's been my struggle that's been my struggle right now. I'm telling you, because of the things that I went through in life, I don't want my daughter to experience it. One, one bit of what I went through. And, uh, and I, I'm constantly battling, and I'm spoiling her, and I'm giving everything she wants, and, and being wise, you know, and... and Man, being a parent, you need a lot of wisdom, you know. Being a parent, it's you need the wisdom from God. You need the wisdom. And it's amazing because now, you know, uh, everybody, especially family, everybody, they have their opinion. How to raise your child, what to do and all this. And, you know, and you just have to run to God, say, God. You know, help me. You know, how many of you have been there as a parent? You just, God, help me. So, man, you need a lot, a lot of wisdom. I need a lot of wisdom, amen, in this area. And uh, so, you know, decision-making, raising your children, you know, business, job, finances, uh, you know, this thing about 
business ideas has been since this morning in my heart. And I, I believe this is for some of you. I believe that God will entrust you with business ideas. How many of you need business ideas? You need new clients. You need new ideas to grow your business. Amen. You need the wisdom of God. You cannot go about doing whatever the world tells you or opinions of man. Amen. How many of you know that the wisdom of this world is rooted a lot of times in pride, you know, and all kinds of things. The wisdom that comes from God, it's humble. Amen. It humbles. It's peaceful. You know, your job, your career, all this. Let us pray. As I say, I want to keep short, only half an hour. Enough, we're going for two hours, uh, you know, hour and a half. Enough with that. <laughs> Let's just go right to the point and, you know, and I'll see you then in the morning. <clears throat> Praise God. Let us pray. Would you bow your head, close your eyes, and let us call upon Jesus. Let us begin by praising the Lord for this awesome opportunity that we have to come together again. What a great joy, what a great blessing to come together, amen, every morning, every night. Praise God. I'm telling you, it's been taking a lot of me doing this twice a day. Because as I say, I'm a very busy guy. I have a lot going on. I have a lot of things that I have to take care of. And to come here twice a day, I'll tell you, it's been, um, it's been taking a lot. But I'm blessed that somebody is getting blessed by God. Let us pray. Let us call upon Jesus. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, I thank you so much for this awesome time, Lord God, that we can come together and pray for one another. What a great joy. Tonight, we are praying together as your people. We are calling upon you, praying specifically for wisdom. God Almighty, we all need wisdom. I need wisdom to raise my daughter. I need a wisdom, Lord God, in so many areas of my life. None of us can say, I have enough wisdom. I know it all. Now, Father God, we all need you. Lord God, we all need your presence. We all need the wisdom that comes from above. And I pray, Lord God, tonight that you touch us, that you speak to us tonight. Lord God, I know I am praying with people tonight that they are in desperate need of clarity. They need wisdom. They need understanding. Because they are before a situation and they just don't know what to do. And I pray tonight that you touch them. Father God, we worship you. We praise you. What a great joy to come to you tonight in prayer. Lord God, I know, I know for sure this is not a waste of time. We are not wasting our time. Every time that we come before your presence, every time that we call upon you, Lord God, miracles happen. You change us. You come to our rescue. And so, Father, I pray for everyone to the sound of my voice. I pray for my precious brothers and sisters. I pray, Lord God, for myself. I pray, Father God, that you release divine wisdom. I am praying, Lord God, for that wisdom that comes from heaven. We are not talking about the earthly, the demonic wisdom. Your word says that the, the wisdom from this world is carnal, is demonic. Lord God, the wisdom of this world, a lot of times is rooted in pride and arrogance it's in, rooted in all kinds of evil things. We are asking God for the wisdom that comes from, from heaven. The wisdom that we need to overcome. The wisdom that we need to grow. The wisdom to succeed. God Almighty is your will. I have no question in my heart. That is your will. 
the every child of God, everyone praying with me tonight, they succeed. I have no question about it. Because one thing I know, you did not create none of us to live in defeat. Lord God, you didn't create us to live under trials and defeat. You, cr you create us, Lord God, to walk in your purpose, in your calling. You create us, Father God, to overcome everything that comes our way. And so I pray for my brother, my sister tonight. Lord God, I pray specifically for wisdom concerning decisions. Decision making. I pray, Lord God, right now for my brother and my sister. That they are before a situation. They have to make a decision. But they just know what to do. They don't know, Father God, what to do in this situation. They don't know what is right. They don't know, Lord God, what they have to do. And so I pray. Come on, people of God. Ask the Lord to touch you. Father, I pray that you touch my brother, my sister, everyone in need of wisdom and understanding, revelation concerning this situation. Lord God, some of them, they are facing a situation. They need to make the right decision concerning relationships. Lord God, they need to make a decision concerning their families, concerning, Lord God, bills to pay, Lord God, concerning the IRS, <laughs> Lord God, they need, a they need to make a decision concerning their children, what school to put them in, Lord God, where, where, where to take them, Lord God, loans, and Lord God, how to pay for the family, all the decisions, Lord God, that we should invite you into those areas. I believe with all my heart that you want to be a part of every decision of our lives. Everything, Father God, you want to be part of those areas in our lives. It amazes me how many people, or God, they run, make them decisions, whatever it pops up in their head. They just go in and they make decisions without praying, inviting you into the situation. Father God, I believe with all my heart. I believe that. Many of our failures is because of poor decisions. But as Christians, our God, we love to blame the, be the devil. Everything's a devil. When things doesn't go right, it's the devil. Everything is the devil. I believe the devil is part of it. I believe the, de the enemy looks for doors and opportunities. Lord God, but a lot of things is because we don't listen to you. It's because we don't pray through it. It's because we don't wait upon you. It's because we don't seek wisdom. And we run into situations. We run, Lord God, into things in life that lead us into pain, losses, headaches, waste of money, waste of energy. Because we don't have the wisdom. Because we do things, Lord God, without consulting. And so tonight we pray. I am praying with my brother and my sister that you touch them, that you give them wisdom. I thank you because there's no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. We are not here to condemn people, to judge or to put people down. We are here to encourage one another. As iron sharpens iron. Lord God, so one man sharps another. Lord God, we are here to sharpen each other. And I pray for every, every decision that my brother, my sister needs to make. I pray that you give them clarity, that you give them peace. Lord God, every time, at least my own experience in life, every time that you have led me into places and situations that I had to step out of the boat, Lord God, I was, I was fighting for, for faith. I was fighting, Lord God, in that place of stepping out of the boat. But Lord God, I had peace. It's possible to walk, Lord God, to step into the water, to step out of the boat. But yes, have that peace in the inside. And I can say, Lord God, in my life, time and time again, every time that I had to step, make big decisions, 
Lord God, that one thing that led me was the peace. Your peace in the inside gave me the confidence that you were with me. That you were leading me. And I pray for my brother and my sister. That every decision that they have to make, Lord God. I pray that you give them the peace. Because you are God of peace. You lead us in peace. Even when there's a challenge. Even, Lord God, we have to take a big jump. But, Lord God, there's a peace inside the ho- on our hearts. You are not a God of chaos. You are not God of confusion. You are a God of peace. And so I pray for this person. That you give them peace in the inside. That they will know, Lord God, for more that it looks... Lord God, uh, more that they need to take a big jump of faith, but they will know God is with me. I pray, Lord God, for peace, and I pray that you fill them with wisdom. I pray, Lord God, that you give them wisdom as they read the Bible. There's no better way to receive, to receive wisdom. Lord God, the Word of God is you speaking directly to our hearts. And so I pray that you give my brother and my sister wisdom as they read your word. I pray, Lord God, that you give them wisdom as they pray and seek you in the secret place. I pray that you give them wisdom as they cry out to you. And I pray, Father God, divine wisdom. Lord God, even as they sleep at night, Lord God, I believe that you still be speaking to this day. Lord God, using dreams and visions of the night. I don't believe, Father God, that is the primary way that you use to speak to us. I believe that primary way, Lord God, that you speak to us is through your word. It's through your word. It's through prayer. Seeking your face. That intimacy with you in the secret place. That's how you speak to us. That is the primary way that you speak to us. But Lord God, you can also use, because it's biblical, you can use, Lord God, the man of God, you can use a woman of God, you can use, Lord God, a a, a pastor, Lord God, like myself, you can use, Lord God, the strangers, you can use, Lord God, the prophet, you can use different situations, there are many ways that you can use, and one of them, Lord God, is dreams and visions, and so I pray that you give them dreams and visions in the middle of the night, That you show them, Lord God, with clarity the way to go in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Father, I pray as well that you give them ideas concerning business. I pray for wisdom in business. I pray that you give them business ideas. Lord God, I have this so strong in my heart. I believe that you are, Lord God, you are blessing people since this morning. It's been very strong in my heart, Lord God, that many people will receive business ideas. Many people have been praying, God, bless me, bless me, change my family, change my situation, and you're going to give them a business idea. Lord God, this idea that many of us, Lord God, have to be free from, many of us have this idea, I had this idea, I had to be set free. This idea of always praying for a miracle, always hoping that somebody will come and rescue them. Lord God, I believe that's where they are for a season. There's no problem. I believe you bless, you meet them there. But I don't believe that you create any, any one of us to live in that place. Always hoping and wishing and praying that somebody will come and rescue them. Somebody will come and pay their bills. Somebody will come and, 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 and buy grocery to them. Somebody will come and pay for their rent. This is not the way that you want us to live. I believe that you bless the work of our hands. I believe that you give us ideas. I believe, Father God, that you are a God of idea. Lord God, that you are a God that can give us clarity concerning business. Clarity concerning work and job and making a live, a living, Father God, a, a, a prosperous living. Father God, I pray that you'll help us to understand that money don't come from heaven. Money don't fall from heaven. Lord God, money 
do not fall from heaven. Money do not grow in a tree. This ideal or God of just waiting, praying all day long and just waiting that somebody will knock on their door and bless them with money. That is not the way of living, Father God. And that's why so many people, especially those who are involved in ministry like myself, especially those who are called to the ministry, that's why they're, Lord God, most of them, they are broke financially. That's why, Lord God, they can barely pay their bills because they're just waiting for somebody to come and pay their bills. I pray, Father God, that you give each and every one wisdom to handle the money. Wisdom, Father God, business ideas, divine ideas from heaven. Lord God, I pray just like that man that I prayed for one, one time. Lord God, you perform a miracle in his life. His business, Lord God, it was going broke. He was going to file for, for, Lord God, for bankruptcy. He was going to shut down his business. His business, Lord God, it was going, it was in really bad shape. And we pray, Lord God, I prayed for him. I ask that you give him idea, Lord God, and, and you bless him. You start giving him ideas and, and he start putting to practice the ideas, Lord God, and you changed his life. He went from making nothing into making thousands and thousands of dollars, Lord God, on a monthly basis. Why? Because he put, the, he put into action the ideas. Father God, I pray for my brother, my sister, that you bless each and every one of them with business idea. Lord God, with new jobs, new careers, that you bless them. Lord God, with wisdom, divine wisdom, let them see opportunities that nobody can see. Lord God, let them see opportunity. I pray for provision. Lord God, just like Peter, when Peter came to Jesus asking, how do we pay our tax? And Jesus told him, go and catch a fish. You were very strategic. You told you didn't tell Peter to do something that he was not familiar with. That's why he blesses me so much. Every time that I read that passage scripture, it bless faith arise inside of me every time that I read that passage scripture. Because it blessed me so much. That you didn't tell Peter to do something that he was not familiar with. Many people are praying with me today and they're wondering, do I change career? Do I do something different? I believe, Lord God, you can lead them to do some, something different. But also, Lord God, I believe you can bless them to do something that they are familiar with. Something that they've been doing, Lord God, for you know, year, two years, five years, ten years. Father God, I pray that you bless them, that you give them divine wisdom, Lord God, to find that gold nugget, to find that gold coin, to find the provision that they need, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Lord God, I pray for financial blessings and wisdom when it comes to money. God Almighty, this is the one area that I believe every one of us, we need wisdom. I pray, give us wisdom to manage, to be a good steward of every dollar, every currency that comes into our hands. Lord God, every money that comes into our hands, help us to steward well. Help us to be wise. Help us, Father God, to multiply. Give us wisdom to multiply what comes into our hands. Give us wisdom, Father God, how to invest, where to invest, how to start a business, how to pay, Lord God, credit cards, and how to come out of financial death and, and living off credit cards. Too many people, Lord God, they are just living off credit cards. Lord God, they're unemployed and they're just... Living off the credit card. Father God, I pray that you change this situation. Give them wisdom. The wisdom, Father God, that they needed to manage their money well and to come out of bondage. In the name of Jesus, I pray. I pray, Father God, that you bless them in relationship. 
I pray, Lord God, that you bless them to make the right decisions when it comes to relationship. The people that they allow into their lives. The people that they welcome into their lives. Lord God, knowing people, it's one thing. Allowing them to be part of our lives, it's something different. We have to be very picky. We have, Lord God, to, to, to get to know people. We cannot just open our hearts to everybody that comes in our lives. Lord God, we need people, but we need people that will sharpen us. We need people, Lord God, that will help us to grow. We cannot afford to walk hand in hand with people that just come and suck the life of us. That gossip, that only cause a delay in our lives. Father God, I pray that you bless them with divine wisdom, Lord God, in relationship. Lord God, divine wisdom in leadership. I pray for those who are leaders. I pray that you give them wisdom to lead their, Lord God, to be a good leader. To be, Lord God, a leader that walks in integrity and wisdom. That bless the people that, Lord God, that they, they, they lead. I pray, Father God, that it will be an inspiration and a blessing to those people. In Jesus' name, I pray, Father God, that you bless every one of them to overcome difficult situations. Every difficult situation. I pray that you bless them with divine wisdom, understanding, revelation, insight to overcome every area of their lives. For the glory of God, I pray. Somebody shout amen. Somebody say praise Jesus. Somebody say thank you God. Brother friend, finish on time. <laughs> Can somebody say, thank God, Brother Fernand is getting sharp. <laughs> Hallelujah. That's it, people of God. Half an hour is more than enough. Amen. I'm not going to take much of your time. Praise God. People of God, I bless you in the name of Jesus. Receive this final prayer for the glory of God. Open your hands, my brother, my sister. The Lord bless you and the Lord keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. My brother, my sister, I bless you. I bless you to prosper. I bless you to walk in the wisdom of God. If you receive, say amen. Say thank you, dear God. Praise God. Praise God. What a blessing. My brother, my sister, let me pray a final prayer over every one of you who support our prayer channel. Father, I bless my ministry partners, every one of them, helping us to spread the word online. There are millions of people that need to hear the gospel. And we are here twice a day preaching the gospel, helping people, mentoring people to grow spiritually. I thank you, God Almighty. I pray that you bless them, those who pray for us, those who sow, those who support this channel. I pray that you bless them abundantly, every area of their lives. For the glory of your name, I pray. Amen. God bless you. All right, people of God, have a blessed night, and I'll see you tomorrow morning for more. Shalom, peace.